Hello everybody and today we're going to show you how to make your very own punishment GUI system using a program using a plugin called my command and as you can see here test dumby is a very bad hacker so we're going to go ahead and give him a punish punish test dumby all right we're going to just go ahead and click him and oh Alright, once you got my command installed, you could either open up the current YML file, the examples file, or you can open up a new one and create your own uh, to have just this one function. And I like to keep it organized like this in case I ever have to go back and edit anything. But we're going to go ahead and start by giving the function a name. So we're going to go to punish GUI. And all this is is a name for the program to identify that it uses to load that command for you. So then we're going to go ahead and give it a command now. So the command is going to be slash punish. So this is the command that's going to be typed into the typed into the console or the chat for the player to do it. The type of interface we're going to open up is an icon menu. So we're going to do icon menu. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and do icon menu title. So we will do icon this is going to define the title at the top of the icon menu. So we're going to do icon menu title. And then what this is. So we're going to want this. You can actually set this to whatever you want. You can name it your custom, own custom name and all that stuff. But we're going to name it. We'll do and see punish. Oop, punish. And then we're going to have a multi argument thing. So this is going to be the player's name. I want to be able to display the player's name at the top. So you make sure you got the right person. Uh, you don't want to accidentally ban the wrong person. So we're going to go to, uh, I like, I'll color it green. And then we're going to add, we're going to add uh, the cash shine and multi args. So that's multi arguments. I like to use multi arguments for everything. Uh, there's actually, you can do arg1, arg2, but sometimes I have issues with it. I don't know if it's with the plugin or if I'm not using those right. But we're going to go ahead and do icon menu. And then we're going to do size. So we're going to just do the standard size of 27. You can only do these in increments of rows. I believe there's eight in a row. So uh, we're going we're gonna to do required, required arguments. So we're going to do required, required args, all right, one. So this means that they have to add a name when they do the command. If they don't add anything after the command, uh, it won't do anything. And we're going to set it up to give them a message that lets them know that they have to add a username. So we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and set the error message, error message. All right, and what this message is, is if they don't have all the arguments, it's going to say wh whatever we want it to say. In this case, we want to do, we want to do and see invalid use. All right. No, we'll just do invalid. So we'll do invalid and then we'll do and and for I'll color this and for use slash punish and then we'll just do the, the two little brackets here and we'll do player here so this is basically gonna tell tell the staff member or whoever's executing the command that you need to enter a player name to work this command okay so we're gonna we're also going to add register. What register does is it gives you the ability, it gives you the ability to um, tab the username. So you'll be able to tab uh, instead of having to type everybody's username in, which is really, it really comes in handy. Okay, so we're going to skip a line here. I'm just going to put a dash there for now because I want to set up permission stuff because you don't want anybody to execute to be able to execute this uh, menu. So we're going to do a permission required. Uh, so we're going to do permission required. 
and we're going to set that to true and then we're going to do permission node so that's going to define what the permission node is uh, that's required to use this menu so we are going to I'll just put it admin dot punish okay so that's gonna be the admins punish menu I set this line here just for a gap to gap that because we're gonna start putting it together the icon menu so we're gonna set it icon menu and then we're gonna do underscore commands alright so these are gonna be the commands that are executed from the icon menu so if I do dash then we're gonna do this so you gotta have the brackets there so make sure you do this exactly right I will have a copy of this uh, config that I'm writing out right now down below so you can uh, better yourself but uh, let's go ahead and show you how this function works so I'm gonna do do another uh, comment out this line here okay so the first thing is the position position on the GUI uh, so this is gonna be the item position location on the menu when it pops up uh, for you to use it uh, the second one is going to be the item item name okay so that's gonna be the item name and then this the third section you gotta separate it with the colons so it's very important now this is just a demonstration to show you how we're gonna fill out that upper piece you don't have to write this down and then the next one is the item data so that's the data number so if there's a data number for that item you would use you know you'd use it okay and then the next row is the command so this is the command we're going to execute and then the next row after the next colon we're gonna do the it's the title of the item so that's the title of the item so there we go that's that's when you hover over it what it's gonna display on that item and then we're gonna go ahead and do the description that's the the third thing so that's the description and that would be the last part and then you would use this uh, to add a second line in the so this will be multi line mark so if if you want to add another line to the description you would use the semicolon so okay so now that we got that let's go ahead and get started okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna define the first the first um, location on the first item which is gonna we're gonna put in the first box you can change these later however you want then we're gonna put that colon in between because that's gonna separate to uh, that's going to separate us uh, to the item name. That's what separates each individual next uh, function. So we're going to do ink sack for the first one. So ink underscore sack. All right. So that there it is. Ink sack colon. We don't have a metadata for it or a, a data item. So we can do the colon again. All right. Now we're going to move on to the command. So the first command is going to be, we're, we're just going to make it a temp ban. So we'll do temp ban, right? So we got temp ban, and then we here's where we want that multi-arguments thing. So we do multi-args, right, space, and we're going to do three days. Three days, and we'll say the reason is combat hacks first offense all right first offense all right so <laughs> put an explanation point so there we go that's that's the first that's gonna be the command it executes when you press that button it's gonna execute that command on that player for three days and and so on okay so now we're gonna go ahead and continue to write out the title of the item okay so the next section is the title of the item so when you hover the mouse over it what is it going to display so at the top we're gonna do and and see and we'll type three three day temp ban and then we'll go ahead and put colons here and do combat first 
a fence. All right. So that's gonna let the let the um staff know. Hey, first offense ban. There you go. This is this is a good choice for that. For first offense of combat hacks. So we do combat. Oh, I gotta put hacks. <laughs> All right. So combat hacks first offense. So in the next section is the last section. And what you can do is you can write down what to use it for. So if I do and D, use this for first offense of any of the following. First offense of, no, we'll just do first offense of. I don't want the line that long. All right, and then we're going to do semicolon because we're going to do, we're going to do semicolon so we have, the next we're going to move to the next line so now we can list the things that they should use this for so we'll go ahead and do and f we'll make them we'll, we'll make them white so we could do like kill aurora all right add a add a comma there to separate them uh sp speed Speed, regen, uh, crits, okay, and, okay, so, now that we set that up, now we're going to uh, copy and paste this, because instead of writing that whole thing out again, we can just copy and paste it, and then we'll have it two more times. Now I'm only going to show you how to set up three of these and you can modify this to however you want. So that's what we're going to do here. Now that we have this, we can do the next one, a blaze rod. Blaze rod. So now we can just change things. And this one will be an anvil because we'll do this the final ban. Okay, so I want these to be the first three rows on the left side, So which is going to be zero nine and I think 18 we'll find out all right so now that we have that all done we're gonna change this to a straight up ban right so this is just gonna be a ban and this is gonna be third third offense this one's gonna be second offense so we're gonna change this one to uh, seven days we'll do like a week all right so then now we got to change the text here. So we'll do one one week temp ban and then this one is going to be a perm ban. So perm ban. There we go. All right. So oh, I got to change it right here. So this is second offense and this is thirst. <laughs> third third offense. So this will be third. Third offense. third offense and then we'll go up here this is second I don't know why I did that it's just uh, just a headache second st two st two offense all right so uh, second all right all right so now that we have this all set up uh, this is pretty much finished here so now we can get back into the game and we can see what it does. Don't forget to save it. All right, so now that we're back into the game, now we can go ahead and test our plugin. Now, right now I'm op, so the permission thing is going to allow me to do it. So first thing we're going to want to do is reload so we can reload all the script. All right, so now I'm going to do punish. Okay, so now, as you can see, it gives me the error saying invalid. Use punish slash player. So if I do punish and hit tab, I'm the only one in. Now you see my menu comes up. It shows at the top of my GUI, punish, colon, Mr. Plugins. And then, as you can see, there's my information that I wrote. First offense, second offense, third offense. So... You can see how this kind of works out. This is a perm band. That's that band. Now, let's go ahead and test it out real quick with account. Okay. Test Dumby. Okay. Now, see, test Dumby over here. He is using hacks. He is using hacks. 
<laughs> I'm a creative, you can't hurt me. Uh, okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do punish, tab his name, so test dumby will show up in the top. So now if I click this, this is his first offense. So we're going to go easy on him. So we'll do click. And now he's banned. As you can see, he's banned for three days. Combat hacks, first offense. And yeah, that's pretty much how it is. Uh, oh yeah, the permission. We're going to test the permission real quick. I am going to deop, deop Mr. Plugins. Now if I do slash punish, I do not have permission so if I add my permission node to me without opting myself, so I add my permission node, Mr. Plugins, and what was it? Admin dot punish. Okay. So I added the permission node to my character. As you can see, I'm not I'm not opt. So let's see. All right. So now I can do plugins. Oh not the plugins. Punish. And now I have access to the command to...